a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 1 verses 39 to 47. In those days Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a city of Judah. And she entered the house of Zachariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby lived in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and she exclaimed with a loud cry. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb and why is thus granted me that the mother of my lord should come to me for behold when the voice of your greeting came to my ears the baby in my womb leaped for joy and blessed is she who believes that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the lord and mary said My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my savior the gospel of the Lord today we honor our lady of guadalupe on december 9th 1531 juan diego and intent convert to the faith was walking to a nearby village so that he could attend mass on his way a woman appeared to him amidst the sound of celestial music she announced to him i am your merciful mother to you and to all mankind who love me and trust in me and evoke my help therefore go to the dwelling of the bishop in mexico city and say that the virgin mary sent you to make known to him her great desire do Juan Diego did not accomplish this at first he eventually followed the instruction of the virgin of Guadalupe in subsequent apparitions and brought fresh roses from the mountain top to the bishop as a sign that the virgin wanted a shrine built there roses did not usually grow that time of year so this was clearly a miraculous sign upon arriving at the bishop's residence Juan Diego opened his cloak carrying the roses so as to pour them out into the floor before the bishop when he did so the virgin of guadalupe appeared miraculously upon the threads of his cloak the cloak is still visible to all who wish to see it at the shrine in mexico city and what is amazing scientifically speaking is that the image is not painted rather each and every thread has changed color so as to create this holy image furthermore the clock is made of a cactus plant that normally disintegrates within 10 years today the clock is almost 500 years old and it is as fresh and vibrant as forever though the miraculous nature of the clock of juan diego is fascinating to ponder What is of far greater significance is the message of our blessed mother as she appeared to him I am your merciful mother she said she is our mother when we trust her and invoke her help the feast of our lady therefore ought not simply be seen as a cultural historical or miraculous phenomenon rather it must be seen as a glorious invitation from the queen of heaven to accept her as our mother On this 13th day of Advent let us reflect about our relationship with our heavenly mother. Do you trust in her intercession and help? Do you know that Jesus has entrusted you to her care? Have you consecrated your life to her protection? One of the best ways to honor our blessed mother is to pray rosary. Pray it today at least a decade. And as you do, ask her to gently guide you to her son Jesus. And I pray may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.